Welcome back. Um, last or earlier this year, in the run-up to the um, elections, um, you were part of a group that was hosted by Nigeria's former president, Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. You had an interactive session, a group of musicians, and um, I think what made people even remember it so much is that he danced with you. Sure, you know, sure, he showed sure. you his reggae. Um, elections have come and gone, and he lost. Um, are you disappointed? Well, I would say yes, I'm disappointed. Um, yeah, a bit disappointed. But people always say, hey, what has PDP done for 60 years? I'm not a PDP member, neither APC or PCP. Um, just uh, uh, Jonathan and supported that they didn't come back. Why? Because Why? he opened his arms to welcome artists. Started with Nollywood. He has done a lot for Nollywood. And when it's time for him to listen to me as a musician, and they put him out. That's why it's like musicians say, oh, Did you not time. feel that perhaps um, you could take the same problem to the present president? Well, we, we will try, but the present president has been president before and he never li listened to music. Maybe because he was a military man. And military things say, hey, hey, music is for don't try the people, just get away. Yeah, probably then they were, they were not human leaders were not listening to listen to any form fair. They were not there for form fair. But they he's now an elected president. Yeah, he's now elected. So maybe we'll try him and say if we're able to listen to music this time. Uh, his vice, yeah, Shubanjo carried a lot of youth musicians. Yeah, that's Shubanjo. But now we're talking about president himself, Buhari. But does he have to listen to music to be able to solve your problems? Well, yeah, so if he doesn't listen, he won't hear a cry. If he doesn't listen to music, how can he know what we're talking about? If he doesn't listen, I say, fire go burn them, the wicked politicians. Fire will burn them, the wicked politicians. See them come with them trick. They try to fool us again. See them come with them prick. They want to screw us to death. Who no better careful, who no better wearful, because they have a wicked plan. That's why a lot of youth. The Maran go out for it. If him never listened to that properly, he wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Listening to those lyrics, it appears you have very little regard for politicians, and yet they are the ones who could solve your problem. And uh, unfortunately, you did not listen to the lyrics too. I did. You said fire burned the politicians. I did suffer about the politicians. Mm -hmm. So you didn't listen. That's what I'm saying. If the man don't listen, how can he know I cry? No, I you, say, you fire said, go burn them. Mm -hmm. The wicked politicians. We, okay, the wicked politicians. Yeah, yes, so okay. The wicked one. Not every politician is wicked. Okay, so they're good politicians. They're, they're good ones. If you're wicked and hear that tune, you get vexed. Man, Raspon is cursing us. That means, say, hey, you, you don't know what you're doing. You're vexed. Right, but if you're a good politician, you listen to it and say, Oh, I think let's listen to him. He has a point. Now, I know for I a fact, I have a lot of friends who are politicians I know for who have fact, listened to that tune. Uh, I, say, oh, that's I know no. for a fact that the president watches this show religiously. Good. So, so uh, guy, if you're watching to yeah, this show, talk to him. Uh, guy, if you're watching to this show, invite me to Answer Rock. Let's sit down one on one and talk. If you can't invite Piman, because there's a lot of confusion now, invite Ras Kimono. And guess what? I'm straight like you. I'm not DBDB. I'm touching the way it is. If you want to make me minister for arts and culture, make me and deal with this threat. If you don't want to make me, then find the time, invite me, let's sit down and talk, and I'll play my music. I'm not abusing politicians. I'm abusing weak politicians. And you, sir, you know. And that's why you come up and say, you want to change. Yeah, with that change, we are ready to go with the change. So invite me, sir. Let's talk one on one. I'll play my music. Now, you, you said something there about, you know, potential ministerial appointment. I want to ask a serious question. For real? If you were to be offered a cabinet position, will you take it? If it's good for me, I will take it because I'm not, going to, not on political ground. I'm not a political musician. If you appoint me, to take it and I know that I will do good on it, I will take it. But it's an appointment that we. We, we disregard my name and rubbish me, no, I probably would take it. We have a lot of problems we're facing at the moment, and um, I, I want your thoughts on the issues particularly we're facing in the North, terrorism, Boko Haram. 
Unfortunately, it's a shame in the sense that, apart from Jonathan and uh, former president before Jonathan, the other president will be having, there are military people. Even Obasanjo was a military man. So it's a shame on them, all the leaders in this country, that they cannot curb Boko Haram. If they cannot do it, then even the military ones, they expect Jonathan to do it. If they can't do it, they expect Raskman to do it. They know where it come from. They don't know how it started. And you can't tell me, Rasta, that this man, them, big man, them, in this society, don't know nothing about it. Some of them know something about it. Some of them are making millions off it. When there's chaos in the society, a lot of big men, they make money. When there's riots in society, they make money. When there's confusion in society, they make money. When there's war in society, a lot of people have been clamoring for war this year. And believe you me, a lot of people have been planning how to make a lot of chunk of money when there's war. But Jah disgraced them and disappoint them. Say they cannot be one Nigeria. So this Boko Haram issue, uh, some time ago I was clamoring last year, say. The military said, we know where they are, and the 220 guys or 200 guys they took away. Where are they? Oh no, no, we no, can't save them. Okay, call musicians, let's go and sing for the Boko Haram. So I say, please, we are our one. Leave these children alone. Probably will do it. Given these things that you believe, are you hopeful at all that we will ever see an end to this problem? Well, I don't know. Maybe after I die, I'm going to live 100 and I'm going to live 95 years. That's what I say with God. But if God loves me more, give me more extra years, good. But maybe after I die, because when I check it around and I look what's coming on, our youth, sometimes I keep saying, for peace to reign this country, there must be a revolution. And a Rastaman, a Rastaman motto is, that's why we have green, gold, and red. Green is for vegetation that God gives us. Yellow is the gold that God bless us, and the white man are still in the way. They stole, and they're still, still in the way from Africa. And this red is the blood that will run out the last day for revolution. If there's no blood run, there won't be sanity in the society so probably so if blood have to run today and i have to be part of it i might die with it i might die inside it i might live inside it but they have to blood have to run because the way this man them go in this country they want blood to run now and you you as a musician you have traveled around many parts of nigeria mm. um, including parts of the north what do you remember of the North, and what was the, when was the last time you were there? Well, I can't remember. Last time I was there, okay, I remember. I played in uh, 1999 at uh, Benson Hages at Kano City, that the whole stadium was pulled down, and there was a lot of crowd, over 90,000 crowd, and the whole stadium pulled down, and there was, trust me, it was one of the biggest concerts. And since after that, Unfortunately, from the 2000, the Boko Haram stopped springing up and everything mashed down. I missed playing shows in Kano. Reggae music, I tell you, sis, reggae music sells enough than anywhere in this country. Because the, the, the youth, them, whether they are Aosa or Majerio or whatever, they love reggae music. I sell more in Kano, Kaduna, Joss, Plateau, Bedou, than anywhere in this country before you talk about Niger Delta area. So we musicians now, we don't play it not anymore. It's a pain. I feel bad. They want music out there, but they can't get it. And who's going to do it? When they set up a band to play there, trust me, before they're done, somebody must light out some explosion and key people. So nobody want to take music there, but I miss that. And I'm looking forward to see when that peace will come back again to that region. It's time for a break. When we return, we speak about what Mr. Kimono is working on today and also go back in time to his journey into music. Don't go away. <laughs> 